Hi, I'm Charles Tran, and welcome to Live Mobile Technology. Need to get fast internet across two buildings without running messy cables underground? Today, I'll show you how to set up the Ubiquiti UDB Pro 2025 using the Unify mobile app. By the end of this video, you'll have a rock-solid wireless bridge between a parent and a child device, bringing your network exactly where you need it. But before we jump in this device, take note that you need to use any unified cloud key that supports and adopt the UBD Pro device. That could be a Dream Machine Pro, a Cloud Key Gen 2, or any unified cloud controller. Without it, the UDB Pro simply won't work. So make sure you've got that ready, and let's get started. Now, let's quickly go over what we'll be using in this setup. Two Ubiquiti UDB Pro 2025 units, one as the parent and the other as the child. A unified cloud key or controller. This could be your Dream Machine Pro or a Cloud Key Gen 2. A PoE power source, which comes inside the box of the UDB Pro. And finally, the Unify mobile app on your phone or tablet, which will handle the entire adoption and linking process. Once you've got those ready, we can move straight into the setup. Step one, power up devices. Let's begin with the hardware. Take your first UDB Pro and power it on. This will be the parent device. Place it close to your network uplink. This could be near your router or switch where the main internet feed comes in. For the second UDB Pro, keep it powered off for now. This will be your child device. We'll bring it online later, but for now, leave it aside. Let's start by connecting the Ubiquiti dish to the PoE adapter. Take the Ethernet cable from the dish and plug it into the PoE port of the adapter. Next, connect another Ethernet cable to the LAN port of the PoE adapter. This cable will go directly to your network switch. Make sure to plug the PoE adapter into a power outlet. This powering setup is the same for both the parent and child devices. Step two, open Unify app. Grab your phone and open the Unify mobile app. Make sure you're signed into your Unify account and connected to the same network as your cloud key or dream machine. In the app, tap on the device icon located on the lower left side to add a new device. The app will immediately start scanning your network for any new hardware. Step three, adopt parent. Once the app detects the parent UDB Pro, tap on it to begin the adoption process. When the adopt button appears, select it and confirm the adoption of the UBD Pro as the parent device. Wait a few seconds. Now you see it says pending adoption. It's now adopting. It starts from pending adoption, now to adopting. Now it says getting ready. When it's finished, it has a dot button and it's done. A green light will confirm that the parent unit has been successfully adopted and it will now show up in your device list. Step four. Add child. Now it's time to power on the second unit, the child. Plug it in, and after a short boot up, the Unify app will detect it as a new device. This is the child. You have to align this device here and point it to that over there. So this pretending this is building A, right? That's building A, and that's building B right here. This is building B. Ensure the two devices from different buildings have a clear line of sight with each other to be connected. In the Unify app, once the parent device is connected, tap the device icon again and look for the child device. When it appears, select it and tap Adopt Device. Confirm the adoption of the second UDB Pro as the child device, this time linking it directly to the parent bridge. Is adopting, this is a child, that's a parent. Now it's picked up, look, see? The process may take a minute or two while the devices handshake and sync their settings. Once the green lights show up, your child device is successfully connected. Step five, confirm link. Once adoption finishes on your Unify device list, you'll now see both the parent and the child UDB Pro online. The dashboard will display real-time stats, including the link quality between the two devices. If everything is green and stable, you've successfully built a wireless bridge between buildings using the UDB Pro 2025. And that's it. Your UDB Pro parent and child are now paired, bridging internet seamlessly between locations. Perfect for linking buildings, remote offices, or extending coverage outdoors. For more ubiquity and tech guides, go to my channel and check out my playlist. Don't forget to like and subscribe.